Wait a second, this isn't Michelle. This is Bubba! So to show off the game Catfish, what I wanted to do during this video is I wanted to show you the game, the, the show Catfished on MTV, but unfortunately due to copyright reasons, I'm sure that this would get taken down instantaneously if I did that. So instead, what we're gonna do before we start the video is let you see some pictures of cats and fish right here. I'm sure it's gonna be just as entertaining to watch. Go ahead, bam, there's some cats. Yeah, yeah. There, there, there's some fish as well. And uh, we'll go ahead and throw a catfish in as well. Okay, now, on with the video. Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board and or card game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Catfish in which you're going to be trying to catfish your judge, so to speak. This is a judging game in which one player is going to be the patsy, and he's going to be searching for love. And there's certain things he's going to look for, she's going to look for, as they throw over cards, whether it be something like, let's see if I can find one real quick here. Maybe they want someone who's trustworthy, or someone who's nerdy, or someone who likes to take control. And then the other players are going to be the catfish. They pretend to be certain things, like maybe they're going to say that they're a, a nursed foot, a big foot back, oh, I nursed big foot back to health and maybe they have a hobby of competitive cup stacking, right? But in reality, they're actually not. In fact, they are, let's see if I can find something here, they're a drifter or something like that. And basically what they're trying to do is uh, coerce you into falling in love with them. You're gonna score points as the Patsy giving them out to people based on how well they do, their claims and whatnot. And throughout the game, there's conversations that will take place. There's introductions, there's new things that are revealed, and there's sabotages, certain things like, ah! I know your secret. There's an earpiece in your ear, in which case they'll have to defend themselves in some way. There's three different scoring rounds and the person who scores the most at the very end, revealing what they are, is going to win the game Catfish. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at everything that comes in the game and then I will explain how to play right after that. So here we have the game Catfish and everything included and there is quite a lot for this game. Most judging games, you have two different sets of cards. In this one, not even close. In fact, there are six different sets of cards and I think even an additional one two for the campaign i'm not sure what they have included but there's also point cards from one two three and five basically we're getting is ulterior motives and these are what the catfish are actually interested in trying to do like obtaining a green card or selling the patsy a timeshare or stealing the patsy's priceless family heirlooms and of course then they have the claims this is basically what the catfish are pretending that they have so for instance uh they might be best friends of a celebrity or a world famous at athlete, a country music star, or they're from a parallel universe. They'll also have hobbies that they probably do not have, such as a prison inmate pen pal. Uh, they're an inter they like interpretive dance. They are good at beatboxing. They are beard com they're in beard competitions. They like to do goat yoga. They are very good at poetry, etc, etc. There's also looking for cards. Now that is basically the patsy, and the patsy is also the judge who scores out points throughout the entire game. Looking for cards will say something like, someone who likes to take control, or they're looking for someone who's very nerdy, or they're looking for someone who's extremely trustworthy. There's also sabotage cards. Uh, during the second round of the game, these cards are dealt out to all the catfish, and they can play these cards during that interviewing period in which they can go, oh, you little astronaut poet, what about the fact that I know your secret and I caught you prancing around town completely naked, in which case they're going to have to try to explain that to their to, to the uh, patsy and make them believe why that is happening and or you know make themselves look less weird when people try and attack them with certain cards or perhaps i know your secret i found your expose i know your secret i saw you being arrested or i found incriminating security footage of you there's an earpiece in your ear the one i said before and then the last thing here other than the points is third wheel cards like i was showing you before uh maybe you're playing this is kind of like an extra mode in the game where you can play as either the patsy or or you can play at, which is the judge, or you can play at all the catfish, or if you want, you can choose to be a third, third wheel, which kind of helps the patsy in certain ways and also divvies out points. They can be Oprah Winfrey, the patsy's mother, the restaurant's head chef, Morgan Furman, the patsy's annoying little brother, the waiter, etc., etc. These can be players that are additionally in the game. This game plays quite a lot of people. I imagine you at least want to have three, but it's going to be best in a party scenario with, in my opinion, at least five players. Uh, and that is basically what comes in the game. 
quite quite a few uh, little things to add in this game. Uh, let's go ahead and show you down below, and I will show you how to play the game, all the different rounds as best as I can, with there, of course, probably, probably being some changes by the time the Kickstarter campaign comes out. And then we'll come up and I'll discuss this judging storytelling type of game. So here we have the game Catfish. We're gonna go ahead and set it up for, we'll just show you um, how to play the game with three players, I suppose, or just what players are gonna get from round to round. And to begin the game, the player who is the judge, you can choose whoever that is, is also gonna be playing as the Patsy, the person who's looking for love and unaware that all of these other players are secretly not who they say they are. So for instance, they are going to be maybe looking for someone who has good manners. In which case, every other player is going to get seven hobbies and seven claims. So I'll go ahead and deal out four, five, six, and seven. And then I'll also deal out seven claims. One, two, three, four. Oops, this is a negative one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then they're going to look through them and choose four. I'll go ahead and just pick some random ones here, like an actual wizard, and perhaps I invented the internet. And then I will also go ahead and pick something like, um, the... Let's see here what's cool. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, leading an improv troupe. That's a cool one. And uh, Hardcore Parkour. Those are the two I want. So this play person is looking for uh, those things, or someone who has good manners. And in which case, now they've got, every player is now going to have two claims and two hobbies. To begin, they're simply going to go ahead and flip over two cards. And before they do that, they're going to get an ulterior motive. This is the secret thing that they are actually looking for from the Patsy. So after they have that, they're going to go ahead and flip these over and everybody will do that that is playing as the catfish. He's going to say, I'm an actual wizard and I like leading an improv troupe during the weekend. And everybody will also will go ahead and introduce themselves and then they will explain to themselves to the, to the Patsy why they are act like they have good manners or why they might have a certain thing that the specific person is looking for. They can go ahead and talk back and forth with each other. There's a certain way that the game is going to flow in which you're going to be asking questions and whatnot. And finally, when that is all done, the Patsy is going to go ahead and award points. And generally you're gonna award one of each type of point, but that can change depending on how you wanna play the game and whether or not you're going to include a third wheel at the beginning of the game as well as an extra little aspect to it. Finally, or not finally, but next, they're going to go ahead and have the Patsy draw another looking for card. It's gonna flip over. They're also looking for someone who is very discreet. Being discreet is very, very important. And so the other players are then going to get sabotage cards. These are things that are gonna help them mess with other players. So this one here is going to say that they are, let's see, I caught you <laughs> prancing around the town completely naked, right? In which case they're also gonna go ahead and flip over their new claim. So they also like hardcore parkour and they also invented the internet. And they're going to discuss once again in rounds and they can go ahead and play this on anybody they want to try and mess them up during the introduction or during the complete free speak in which everybody just talks back and forth. And this player asks them questions and whatnot to get information regarding what they are and what they like and why that they should be connected with them. Then another scoring round is gonna take place. These are gonna be dealt out again by the Patsy. And finally, the last little round of the game, everybody's gonna reveal who they are and what they want. And based on their story, the Patsy is going to award them points. <laughs> he was actually baby crazy, and he's just looking to have as many kids, or she's looking to have as many kids as possible, in which case, all of these little lies are gonna try and intertwine in some way with the fact that they want to have kids and to make sure that this person has kids. That, that's gonna be a way that you would award a lot of points. In which case, more points get awarded. And then whoever at the end of the game has the most points is the winner. Now there's a ton of different cards Cards here and you can add a ton of different aspects to the game, especially the third wheels, which have a ton of things like the waiter and then how the Patsy is related to these players in some way that they can help with the narration of the game. In general, the Patsy is going to be narrating the game and keeping the flow going. And these players are going to be bickering and fighting against each other to improve their likelihood of making the Patsy A, give them points and B, trying to uh, date that Patsy for their specific want in the game. And that is how you play the game Catfish. All right, let's come up and talk about it. Okay, so let's talk about the game Catfish and a couple little caveats, but I really don't have that many. So I'm just gonna go over some of the cards in the game to give you more of an idea of what you're getting, such as the looking for cards, whether it be someone who loves to dance or someone who's generous. This is all the things that Pat Patsy is interested in in the Catfish. Someone who's a little bit crazy or someone who's honest, someone who's family orientated and someone who's 
who's hardworking. Those are a lot of the things that the player is going to be looking for as the conniving catfish try to tempt them into falling in love. The hobbies of the uh, catfish are something of interest, like a prison inmate pen pal, or they have interpretive dance. They enjoy band being a band groupie. They do dumpster diving, internet trolling. They, they buy repossessed storage units. That's something I used to do. Writing children's books and making niche phone apps. The claims are also pretty funny as well. Like perhaps they're an influential scientist or I was raised by wolves. I found something unbelievable in a briefcase. An explorer of ancient ruins, a preschool teacher, a country music star, a world famous athlete. All these things are obviously complete and utter lies attached with even more lies to get that Patsy to fall in love with him. AKA giving them victory points because that's only that's what's important in this game. Ulterior motives. These are really fun and it's kind of interesting to add your hobbies and claims and attach them to your ulterior motives and try and actually trick the Patsy because you can trick the player into having them pick you based on your story and then if you can tie it all in I think that's going to get you more points. Of course it's a judging game so in reality they can give points for whatever reason whether it be you're just funny or whether it be you're making the most articulate story possible to try and trick them. Toddler trapped in a baby's body, uh, a toddler to trapped in an adult's body. Uh, steal the Patsy's priceless family heirlooms. So they're doing all of this just to steal your your, your heirlooms. Uh, they want to sell you a timeshare. They're interested in a sting operation to catch one of the other catfish. Um, sell the Patsy to the circus. Find someone to go back in time with. Sell the Patsy's organs on the black market. Some of these are a little friendlier and some of them are a little more mean. So how you play it might actually get you more points as well. There is a lot of cards in this game, making this game very, very replayable. It is a judging game at its heart, but it is also a storytelling game as well, right? Down the middle, you're playing as a storytelling game in which you're going to be awarded points based on how well you tell the story. It is a party game, and the more players you play, the better. I would not recommend this with a three or four player group, although I could see people enjoying it nonetheless. Personally, I would want to play this with a lot of players and probably something to drink involved as well, because that just brings out people's... Uh, inhibition that brings out your ability to communicate with other players and that's what really makes this game fun if you're maybe a little less social or a little less interested in trying to create something out on the spot like a game like once upon a time this is probably not going to be for you this requires you to start making things up on the fly and determining how things work during the conversation when you want to play your sabotage cards against the other catfish and impressing the patsy with your story that concludes with a finishing i was actually looking to steal your organs all along and all of that works really really well for people who love games like this, storytelling games with a little bit of a judging aspect. Now, it's not like Cards Against Humanity or any of the other games in which you're just playing two cards down that usually have something dirty involved. This one has is a little more family friendly, I'd probably say mid to late teens or higher can play this game without any consequence. And uh, it has a lot to go for it as far as making using your imagination. I could see this game being used as writing prompts and whatnot, as well as the fact that catfishing in general is something that people find interesting nonetheless why they do it and what's the reason behind all of this and there's all these things that people are actually looking for um, a long time ago when a long time ago when I was uh, on the dating apps before I got married and all that I would go on I go online and stuff and there'd be all kinds of reasons people wanted to do stuff sometimes people want to sell me stuff and whatnot and it, 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 there's there's reasons why people do these things but they're very very humorous as well in real life and of course in this game this game is a comedy game and if you love to laugh you're going to enjoy this game as well but yeah, it is going to be a niche game for specific people, basically any games. If you like storytelling or you like the judging games, both of those categories mixed together, you're going to really, really enjoy this game. I had a lot of fun with this one on the caveat that you're playing with a large group of people and everybody is very open to expressing their story and to working together or working against each other with their stories to manipulate the patsy. A lot of fun for those people who enjoy this type of game. I recommend Catfish. Go ahead and even look down below in the description if you think it'd be a game for you. All right, outro! Hi uh, guys, thanks for watching another Unfiltered Gamer card game review. If you like this video, go ahead and check out the rest of our videos here on YouTube. Like, subscribe, and comment. It does help. We do greatly appreciate it, as well as taking a look at our live streams every Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. PST on our Unfiltered Gamer Facebook page. We give away tons of games there, as well as on our website, unfilteredgamer.com. There are giveaways there as well. There's tons of artists. It shows you all the latest Kickstarter games, all grouped up in one place, as well as other little interesting things in all of our videos and whatnot, as well as taking a look at our friends. Everything board games 
GamesGames.com, the giveaway geek, show me how to win on the cardboard stacker. A lot of people right now that I just really like and want to get you guys a little more uh, notice on their channels because they have a lot of great content as well. And uh, that's all I got for this one. As always, I look forward to finding you, manipulating you, and then selling your organs on the black market to make you think I love you. But I don't, because I just, I just want your organs. You know, I just, your organs. I, I want them.